Good morning, this is JHS Weekly. I'm Garrett Camp. And I'm Darian Crawford. Kaminsky Gym has had a bit of an upgrade. JHC's Jackson Horn shows us how a new scoreboard will help improve the basketball games. If you have been to the gym, you may have noticed a small but major detail right in the center. A new scoreboard was just put up. Matt Hyatt is the Joplin Athletic Director and says this was long overdue. Well, uh, when Kaminsky Gym was originally designed after the tornado, it was designed with the center hung scoreboard in it. And, uh, you know, as we recovered from the tornado, uh, certain things had to be cut, cut out as we rebuilt, and those that was one of the things that we lost. And so we felt like a, uh, for a long time that a, a venue the size of Kaminsky Gym, which is one of the largest high school gyms, you know, in the state, um, deserved a, a center home scoreboard. Hyatt says the players can now see the scores a little better. Well, I, I think we got exactly what we had envisioned. You know, we we didn't want some sort of, of monstrosity to hang down and block view of the video board from the from the end of the court. So, you know, we wanted something smaller. And for the basketball players, it is now easy to see the time with the overhead baskets. They don't have to look up to the rafters anymore. Uh, you know, now we have uh, accurate time right above the basket so you know you can see that as you're playing and we've also set ourselves up for the future if our state ever adopts a shot clock we have that capability right now to to run those and the scoreboard cost over a hundred thousand dollars to make and was paid for by local sponsors reporting for JDC I'm Jackson Horn did you know that we have one of the few schools in the entire country with a digital art class have you ever wanted to try drawing and painting directly on an iPad? Then you should enroll in the digital art class soon for next year. Here's a slideshow of some of the best student work produced in that class.
two teachers compete against each other, but only one remains victorious. JHD's Noah Newman introduces us to a new segment, Teacher versus Teacher. Hello everybody, welcome to this new segment that I'd like to call Teacher versus Teacher. Today we'll see Mr. Burnside and Mr. Bradfield dueling each other in a game of Smash. Let's find out who'll be the victor. Are you ready, Mr. Bradfield? No, I'm ready. Okay. All right. Who is stronger, a monkey or a pink puffball? Uh, I'm not sure. It looks like the monkey. I'm sorry, I don't know how to go. I'll save you. No. Almost. It was close. The double headbutt. Mr. Bradfield, no, don't do it. Starting off a little bit Mr. Bradfield, no. Bradfield, no. I wasn't supposed to go in that direction. Alright, so it's one stock of both. Well, looks like the winner for today is none other than Mr. Burnside. So thank you, Mr. Burnside and Mr. Bradfield, for giving us an awesome competition. I'm Noah Newman, and I'll see you all next time. So, would you say that that new segment's pretty fun? Oh yeah, that would be pretty fun. Uh, you know, like, it's really interesting how sports have evolved to video games. Yeah. Um, we obviously know who won, but who do you think was the better player? Oh, Bradfield. Bradfield, definitely. Like, did you see Donkey Kong? Crazy. Yeah. Anyway, this has been JHS Weekly. Thanks for watching.